Electric aviation in China is progressing rapidly with groundbreaking developments emerging almost every month. In this video, we will explore how China is poised to dominate the low altitude aviation economy in the coming decades and discuss why it may be difficult for established aviation giants to compete in this emerging sector. Historically, Chinese aviation has been viewed as second tier with a reputation for producing aircraft catering primarily to budget-conscious markets in the developing countries. Cutting-edge technology has largely eluded their industry. Despite manufacturing fighter jets for over 60 years, China has consistently lagged a generation behind its Western counterparts. However, since the start of the 21st century, the gap has been closing. A key example of this is the Comic C919, China's first commercial airliner. Launched in 2008, the prototype was completed by 2015 and it took its maiden flight in 2017. An impressive feat by any standard. While the C919 offers competitive performance compared to Boeing and Airbus models, it remains slightly behind the latest Max and Neo variants. The electric aviation era has ushered China into an entirely new phase of innovation. This shift presents a fresh start, allowing China to pivot from reverse engineering to pioneering new advancements. In 2024, electric aviation has witnessed significant strides driven by two parallel approaches, battery-powered aircraft and hydrogen-powered aircraft. While development in the US and Europe is increasingly focused on hydrogen-powered planes offering longer range but still requiring further technological maturity, China has concentrated its effort on battery electric aircraft. China is surging ahead because of the following key factors, government support, technological spillover, a vast domestic market, and environmental targets. Let's now explore each of these factors in detail. Government Support The Chinese government has been a major force behind the rise of electric aviation as outlined in its 14th five-year plan from 2021 to 2025. The plan emphasizes the importance of electric and hybrid electric aircraft in reducing emissions and it lays out a roadmap for encouraging research, development, and deployment of relevant technologies. China's government has also coined the term low altitude economy, highlighting its ambitions in sectors like cargo drones and air taxis. The Civil Aviation Administration of China, the CAAC, plays an active role in not just developing regulatory framework for electric aviation, but also in funding projects and partnering with Chinese aerospace companies. Several electric aircraft have already been certified in China, including the Autoflight Carry-All Cargo EVTOL, Ehang's EH216S, the first unmanned two-passenger EVTOL, and the R1XE two-seater fixed-wing light sport aircraft. Many others are awaiting certification, reflecting China's aggressive push into this field. In contrast, the regulatory bodies in the US and Europe, that is the FAA and EASA respectively, have been slower to establish certification criteria for electric aircraft. They have only recently finalized the standards for power lift aircraft, that is aircraft that function both as rotorcraft and airplanes. And it is for this reason that development of electric aircraft in the West has largely been focused on light sports and ultralight aircraft, where certification guidelines are clearer. Technological Spillover China's expertise in electric vehicle technology is another major advantage. As the world's largest producer of EVs, accounting for two-thirds of the global production, China has mastered battery technology and the electric drivetrain. This includes the development of high efficiency motors, power electronics, motor controller units, and advanced software systems. The leap from EVs to electric aircraft was a natural progression for China. 
already a major manufacturer of lightweight carbon fiber components and a leader in drone technology, the country has leveraged its existing strengths to expand into aviation. Many Chinese electric vehicle companies like Geely, which owns TerraFuja, and Xpeng Motors have now entered the electric aircraft market. Battery giant CATL has also made waves in the aviation sector. In June 2024, CATL announced that it had successfully flown a 4-ton aircraft using its new condensed battery, which boasts an energy density of up to 500 watt hour per kilogram, nearly double the current industry standard. This breakthrough is expected to extend the range of electric aircraft. Note that aircraft like the Archer Midnight or Vertical Aerospace VX4 all have maximum takeoff weight of around 3 tons. The condensed battery will help to extend the range of these aircraft. Reason number 3 was domestic market. China's large and rapidly growing domestic market offers a significant advantage. Developers can confidently invest knowing that even if their products do not find international buyers, they can still thrive at home. This is particularly true in agricultural drone market where China already leads the world. China currently has 241 airports with plans to build more to connect its urban centers. Boeing predicts that China's commercial fleet will more than double by 2043 from 4,345 to 9,740 airplanes, while its freighter fleet is expected to grow rapidly due to expanding e-commerce sector. For point-to-point -point flying, the demand for EV tolls should reach tens of thousands, providing the perfect incubator for the nascent electric aviation industry. As the Chinese middle class grows, general aviation is also taking off. This is promising for manufacturers like Xpeng, which are targeting the high-end market with flying cars. Having already proven its multi-rotor technology with the Xpeng X2, the company is now developing luxury models like the Xpeng X3 and even a land aircraft hybrid. In September 2024, Xpeng showcased the land aircraft carrier prototype and conducted its first public test flight of this futuristic vehicle. Their prototype took to the skies only 11 months after it had been revealed. Reason number four, sustainable aviation commitment. China has committed to reaching carbon neutrality or net zero emissions by the year 2060. To achieve this, China has made several plans for its aviation industry, including the use of sustainable aviation fuel and enabling the operation of electric aircraft for general aviation by 2025. Electric aviation, with its potential to drastically reduce the carbon footprint of air travel, aligns perfectly with these targets. The government's emphasis on sustainability encourages investment in electric aviation technologies as part of the larger effort to combat climate change. In conclusion, China's rapid advancement in electric aviation is shaping the global landscape with strong government backing, technological expertise, and a vast domestic market fueling its growth. As the world shifts towards sustainable air travel, China is positioned to become a dominant force in low-altitude aviation, especially in sectors like cargo drones and EVTOL air taxis. While Western aviation giants focus on hydrogen-powered solutions, China's laser-like commitment to battery electric aircraft gives it a unique advantage in this evolving market. The future of aviation is electric and China is well on its way to leading this revolution. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from it, then please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.